Hello everyone, today we're going to continue subtraction with remainder, page 22 for grade 3. This lesson is prepared by Raniel Moore and registered by Ahmed Hamad. So please stay focused and let's begin. Subtraction with remainder, observe and complete. We have 701 minus 238. We have, first of all, to start from the right of the operation. We have to subtract 8 from 1. We cannot subtract 8 from 1 because 1 is smaller than 8. So we borrow 1 from the 0 here to put it beside the 1 here and we arrive to 11. And 11 is acceptable because 11 is bigger than 8. We cannot sub we can subtract now 8 from 11. But to, to borrow 1 from the 0, we cannot borrow 1 from the 0. So first of all, we have to borrow 1 from the 7 here. That becomes 6. And put it beside the 0 to become 10. So instead of 0, it's now 10. And then again, we borrow 1 from the 10 here. And we put it beside the 1 here and to get the 11. And the 10 here becomes 9 because we borrowed 1 from it. And then we start the operation. 8 subtracted from 11, the answer will be 3. 3 subtracted from 9, the answer will be 6. And 2 subtracted from 6 is equal to 4. So the final answer will be 463. If we want to subtract 1 from 10, the answer will be 9. 20 minus 1 is equal to 19. If we want to subtract 1 from 30, the answer will be 29. And if we want to subtract 1 from 40, the answer will be 39. If we want to subtract 1 from 50, the answer will be, of course, 49. And then if we want to subtract 1 from 70, the answer will be 69. Then 80 minus 1 is equal to 79. 90 minus 1 is equal to 89. And then 100 minus 1 is equal to 99. Going to the second operation here. If we have 542 minus 296, we have to subtract 6 from 2. We cannot sub subtract 6 from 2 because 2 is smaller than 6. So we have to borrow 1 from the 4 here and put it beside the 2 to become 12. And then we can start the operation. 6 subtracted from 12, the answer will be 6. So the answer will be 6 here. And then 9 subtracted from 3, we cannot do that. So we have to borrow 1 from the 5 here and the 5 becomes 4. And the 3 becomes 13. So now we can do it here. For example, 6 subtracted from 12, the answer will be 6. 9 subtracted from 13, the answer will be 4. Here as well, 4. 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. And then 4 minus 2, the answer will be 2. So the final answer will be of 542 minus 296 is equal to 240. Work out the following subtractions. So 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 as we said previously. We have to memorize this table. 13, 30 minus 1 is equal to 29, 40 minus 1 is equal to 39, 50 minus 1 is equal to 49, then 70 minus 1 is equal to 69, 80 minus 1, 90, and then 100 minus 1 is equal to 99. If we have 100 minus 38, we have to subtract 8 from 0. We cannot do that, so we borrow 1 from the 0. Also, we cannot borrow, so we borrow the 1 from here, the 1, it becomes 0. And then we put the 1 here. Then we borrow 1 again, the 10 becomes 9. And the 0 here becomes 10, because we, we have put 1 beside the 0. Then 
here we can start again the operation we subtract 8 from 10 the answer will be 2 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 and 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 so the final answer will be 62 if we have 200 minus 51 the answer will be also we have to borrow 1 from here it becomes 1 then here becomes 10 then we borrow again 1 from it, it becomes 9 and then 1 here becomes 10 so 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 and then the one we copy it here so 149 here we have 100 minus 47 the final answer I, I can tell you that the final answer is 53 but how did we get that we borrowed one from here to we put it here it becomes 10 then we cross it again it's it becomes 9 and then the one we put it here 10 minus 7 is, is equal to 3 and 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 and then the 0 here becomes 0 0 is equal to 0 we continue all the other ones to get the answers as I tell you so the final answer of the first one is 62 as I told you the final answer of the second one is also equal to 149 the final answer of the third one as I told you the final answer is 53 the fourth one 201 minus 138 we have to borrow one from the two it becomes one and we put it beside the 1, so 11. Uh, 11 minus 8 is equal to 3, and then 9 minus 3 is equal to 6, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So the final answer will be 63. Going to the fifth one, we borrow 1 from the 2, the 2 becomes 1, and the, nine, the 0 becomes 10, and then we borrow 1 from it again, so it becomes 9. And the 4 becomes 14. So 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. And 1 minus 0 is equal to, Z to 1. So the final answer will be 107. Homework to complete number 1, page 22 on the book. Thank you for your listening and goodbye.